Jesus loves this man so, so much that he forgives his sins so that he can be in a relationship with God and one day be with him forever. And he wants that for us too. Do you see why it's so amazing that Jesus has come to rescue us from sin, to forgive us? Because it means that we can have a relationship with the God who made us, who loves us, and who cares about us. What do you call a fish without an eye? I don't know. What do you call a fish without an eye? Shh. <laughs> Very good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Do um, interrupting cat. Interrupting cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, doctor, doctor, I have a strawberry shaped rash. Oh no, a strawberry. I have some cream for it. Strawberries <laughs> yeah. and cream, what could be better? Theme, today we're thinking about how Jesus is the greatest lifeguard. Uh, hence I've got my armbands and my goggles uh, ready for a swim. Let's play a game of uh, Bring Me. Um, so I want you to go off round your house and find, the first thing I want you to find is something that you would need in a storm. That you care about us? Maybe that's a question that you've been asking God. We need an emergency service with power to stop it all, don't we? But only God has got power over the wind and waves. Because God created the wind and waves just by speaking. And then up stands Jesus. And he does what only God can do. He's got total power over nature. And he shows that he's no ordinary man. He is God. If you're tempted to think, don't you care, God? Look to Jesus, the King. Look to him who is ruling over the world. There is no one that cares for you more than Jesus does. Um, so all our leaders are going to be dressed up in a uh, fancy dress, hidden round. Uh, part of Spittle Estate and you can go around in your families and find them. So then, knock knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? That's it. <laughs> Very good. Well, why don't you give a little girl called Elsa a balloon then? I don't know, why don't you give Elsa a balloon? I should let it go. Uh, <laughs> Someone broke into the police station and they stole all the toilets. The police say they've got nothing to go on. <laughs> Remember why Jesus said he came. He came to forgive sin. Our sin, the way in which we hurt and reject God, deserves punishment. I mean, imagine policemen who didn't punish people who were breaking the law. That wouldn't be very fair, would it? In the same way, we deserve punishment from God. But as Jesus dies on the cross, do you remember what happened in the temple and to that curtain? The curtain is torn from top to bottom. As Jesus dies, the barrier between people like me and you and God is gone. On the cross, Jesus had a choice to rescue us 
or to rescue himself. That's how much Jesus loves you. He chose you. When Jesus died, everyone thought that was the end. Jesus gives us a certain hope of life forever with him. Death is not the end. There is no game over for those who trust in Jesus. The Bible promises that all who trust in Jesus will have this amazing, perfect, incredible life forever with him. It will be perfect because he's taken away our sin. It will last forever because death is not the end. And it will be incredible because it's with Jesus. Here's Charlie's joke. What does an octopus sit on? An arm, 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 arm chair. That's brilliant. I And if you don't yet trust Jesus, what's stopping you? You've got so much to gain. With Jesus, there is no game over. Anyone can get in on it. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. See you all soon. Bye, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, die! <laughs> Love you! It's fine, Mary, though. I've muted you. Bye! Bye! Hey! Watch them pile into Ian's room now. <laughs> <laughs>